I'm Walt Rizzuno. I'm part of the uh, faculty over in mechanical engineering over in LCOE. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, projects we're doing here. Uh, we actually have a few related projects, but the uh, one that we're based in the uh, Jordan Center is our uh, DWR project on looking at desalination of ag tail water. Okay, so especially on the west side, when you pick up uh, the uh, irrigation water and uh, collecting the tile drainage system, you've got a lot of salts off the soils there. And one of the things as the <coughs> drought has uh, intensified is the lack of good quality water for not only ag purposes, but also for domestic purposes. So there's been a lot of uh, work in this area and we continue to work in, in the uh, same uh, field. So I've got two students working on this with me, Drew Arbalo and Mia Bensian. Actually, they're out there at a test site right now, so they couldn't be here today, so I apologize. Um, if you look at this map here with the groundwater basins, especially in the Central California area, whoops, that's not good. Okay, the purple areas in here indicate the overdrafted areas, and even though we've got um, you know above average rainfall last year, we're still overdrafting our groundwater supplies uh, at a remarkably high rate, and it's just getting worse. So. When they say the drought is over, I don't necessarily agree with that because we've actually depleted our groundwater on the, in the valley and um, even with the snowpack and everything else, surface water, you're still gonna depend on that groundwater in uh, years when you, know, you have below average rainfall. So part of this is to make our uh, water supply stretch a little bit further. And uh, what we're trying to do is to uh, again, take that ag tail water that may be laden with salts and this is usually flood irrigated systems, uh, row crops and so forth, especially on the west side. Pull that tail water out and uh, somehow purify that and make it usable again. Our particular system is a, um, a distillation system called a vapor compression distillation system. And most distillation systems end up taking a lot of energy to purify the water. So one of our major um, goals in here is to reduce that energy requirement and make it so that the cost of the water is more comparable to what uh, normally is available to ag. Um, right now, we're somewhere around about $2,000 per acre foot. That's considerably higher than what ag is willing to pay for. But we're trying to work on a, a, a system that essentially will bring down that cost. Uh, so our system is basically in the schematic here. We're, in simplistic terms, basically just a boiler and a condenser in here. So we take the ag water coming in from the left over here. Basically, we will boil off the uh, uh, water, and this brine stream gets to be at a much higher uh, salinity content. So we're looking for about uh, somewhere around 60,000 or so milligrams per liter of concentration at the end. Um, the system itself has a couple of extra heat exchangers, and what we're trying to do is as we bring the cold water in from the field, we're going to go ahead and heat it up with the exiting water here in this blue stream coming through this heat exchanger on this side. And we also have another uh, heat exchanger stream out here, which is the brine stream. So we extract all the heat, hopefully all the heat off the um, two streams that are exiting the system. That heat comes in to preheat the incoming stream here and going in the boiler. So that's, that's our energy recovery system there. Okay. Uh, we operated this system back in 13, yeah, 2013 on the west side, and it operated very well from the standpoint of the quality of the water. The, the water that basically comes off this is pretty much distilled water, very low TDS in there. And um, one of the things that we were looking at, again, is to uh, somehow make this system possible for uh, use in the ag field. And we are now locating our system over in the Pinoche uh, research facility. We're adding this part in here, which is a filtration system, and IX units. IX units are basically water softeners using resin, bed, uh, resin in the uh, bed to extract the uh, hardness out, so magnesium, uh, calcium ions. And we have a brine stream here that essentially is sodium chloride base. So we're going to take the waste and run it through IX for regeneration to make it sustainable. That's been, really been the focus of this uh, second phase. Because as we pull the water out of the drainage system, we are going to have to figure out what to do with the brine. And that becomes the biggest problem, what to do with that brine. The water's no problem. 
So getting down the energy costs and so forth is really what we're looking for, as well as making a sustainable process, okay? So we are actually going into the field trials in about a month. We're starting to move the equipment out to the Pinochet system and uh, getting ready to pull their, their water out. Okay, so again, the goals of the project, this is create the sustainable water reclamation system. Uh, it's really optimized for ag use as opposed to say a municipal uh, system. We want to optimize the VCD unit to reduce the energy cost. Again, we're about $2,000 uh, per acre foot right now. We want to bring that down. And then finally, we want to look at the efficacy of using the process brine stream to regenerate the IX units to make it really a self-contained, sustainable system. Okay? So thank you very much.